Those inflation numbers did jolt the market, didn't they? They really did, Ross. They had a negative impact on the ASX 200. You can see market was already down about 0.7% at 11am this morning. Then after those monthly inflation figures were released, it dropped away even more. Energy stocks, mining companies and consumers, discretionary retailers were the worst performers. Utilities lifted just 0.2%. You can see ASX 200 really dropped in the afternoon too. Finished down 1.64%. Machine learning company app and continued rising. It's up 37% in the past five days. It's all thanks to investors pouring money into artificial intelligence related stocks. Data networking company Megaport was another top performer. And Illumina, the holding company that owns a 40% stake in aluminium producer Alcoa, that was up 2.8%. Whitehaven Coal dropped thanks to a falling coal price. Newcastle Coal Futures are currently worth $135 US a tonne. That's down 66% in five months. And Whitehaven shares have fallen about 43% over the same period. Online retailer Kogan slipped today. And gold miner Silver Lake, which published an ASX announcement, attempting to put pressure on St Barbara to accept its offer to buy the Leonora gold mine in Western Australia. That was down 1.9%. Other companies losing value included specialty fashion retailer Premier Investments, Iron Ore Miner Fortescue, thanks to a fall in commodity prices, and retail conglomerate West Farmers, which dropped after the Investor Day yesterday. Ross, that's markets. Yeah.